and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and Agent Deli. Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to Paragon Fight Night Playoffs Season 1, $500 on the line. I'm excited. The best of the best have made it. They battled through nine-week regular season, major Paragon updates, major differences going on. And, guys, the biggest part of this announcement is Agent Deli made his bed for the cast. Agent Deli made his bed. I mean, I, I did. Well, I forgot to bring you in, so they couldn't hear you. There you go. Now they can hear you. <laughs> All that for nothing. All right, Agent. You guys, welcome. We're so excited to be here. It, it is the playoffs. It started off with 20 teams. We're down to the final eight teams, uh, 10 teams in East Division. <clears throat> Reborn, Arctic Wolves, Asura's Raids, and Bronze Army in Division One. Enemy for, for Esports. Prime Boys, Three-Eyed Ravens, and Ballistic Gaming in Division 2. The gentleman to the right of me will be handling all of Division 2 starting next season with his partner in crime, Sir Tiddlywinks. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that He's was got funny. a beautiful, beautiful voice. Yes, he made me talk like this. To make, <laughs> so I can sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Guys, we don't want to waste too much of your time, but we want to give a big shout out to all our sponsors. Scuba Lip uh, for $100, Redman064 for $300, everyone else who helped donated. Price pool is over $550. And the big announcement is Paragon Fight Night Season 2 is a go with three divisions. December 14th will kick off the league. We're going to have a pro division, which is invite only, semi pro, and then an open division. We're hoping to bring you there. We got more casters coming on board, a lot going on, and we already got $250 worth of donations set up for that. So we're excited to go for there. Adept Live is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone, say hi to Adept. Wave to Adept. Wave to Adept, Nelly. Yep, there you go. Hi, Adept. <laughs> hi, Adept. Hello. <laughs> and I could not find my draft ID. There it is. All right, and we're going to dive right into the draft. Deli, are you ready to do this? Let's see what happens between Arctic yes, Wolves and Reborn. All right, we're going to do go right to the draft. This is the draft game. And start the draft in three, two, one. Let's go. We're going straight into the draft, and we have a race ban over on the side of Reborn. Absolutely very, very strong ADC. Um, up there without a Murdoch being able to reposition people. Then... Over on the other side of Arctic Wolves, we have the Gideon ban. Um, what can I say? Gideon's super, super powerful right now. Uh, huge utility ult. Stuns three and a half seconds. So that'd be able to make or break teams. Uh, Rampage goes over onto Reborn. Uh, absolutely ama amazing rework. Great in the jungle. Great in lane. It's just an absolute powerhouse. Arctic Wolves goes for Shinbi. Should be very strong right now. Um, one of those heroes where I, I feel Shinbi has a very high skill cap. And if you're using her right, she can be devastating. Her, her, her ability to regen health and apply a ton of damage in a global alt makes her very tough because she's in and out very quickly. Then we see the Aurora pick right here, setting up combos. Yeah, the Shinbi is definitely going to be a huge uh a menace to to carries um and picking wraith off of the field i mean we're gonna have a less uh, self-sufficient carry uh to be able to deal with the, the shinbi um so we're gonna have bringing out tb murdoch drongo um those guys bring a little bit less to the field to dealing with the shinbi than than somebody like a wraith uh, but we do have lieutenant belka over onto reborn um and we also have drongo as well um so we have drongo out so we, over, we see over here Reborn is really just sectioning off the carries for Arctic Wolves. Um, so they picked up Drongo for, for the silence so that Shinbi can't uh, dash away after she gets knocked up or rocked. Um, so we, we have the Wombo combo power here from the Rampage, Belka, and the Drongo. Over on the side of Arctic Wolves, we have Narbash. Um, <laughs> Beautiful uh, double AoE uh, ultis, as well as Iggy and Scorch. We have Iggy and Scorch setting up huge AoE ult. Uh, we have Narbash as well, into, uh, uh, and the Aurora. So we have the Aurora ult into the Narbash, uh, into the Iggy. However it may be, um, lots of Wombo Combo over on Arctic Wolves. 
as well. A lot more for Arctic Wolves being able to punish grouping with their comp. Um, if Reborn choose to group together, um, they can definitely punish that, and Shimmy can come up afterwards and clean it up. Um, and then also at the same time, uh, Lieutenant Bellica is going to have a little bit harder, uh, if it is an Iggy mid lane and a Lieutenant Bellica mid lane, she's going to have a little bit harder of an early game dealing with the Iggy, and gadget. that's going to stretch that. Gadget Might come. be a Bellica support. Yeah, Gadget is uh, brutal. I, I personally don't feel Gadget is where everyone else is right now, but with the Gideon mm -hmm. ban and the Wraith ban, you're kind of forced into it. So, but her poke is still strong, and her damage is very strong. And the um, I can't think what it's called. The slow uh, stagnant dominion can change yes. the team fight very quickly. I hate especially her. when using her her Tesla dome on top of like an Aurora ult on top of the uh, the cryosism and the crash bang boom. Um, basically, forcing Arctic Wolves to disperse while the Tesla dome is up, um, kind of dismantling their forces. Uh, while all their wombo combo is coming on. Then we have Reborn picking it up, Quang. Um, solid offlaner. Very, very strong. Lots of armor. Um, just be able to bully down people. <laughs> Not letting them go through. I like the draft uh, of Reborn right now. I, I, I truly do. They have the setup going. Uh, Gideon is very, very, very strong um, with the rework. It, 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 a couple more skill shots. He's a little overtuned with his alt, so I don't think we're going to see him allowed in any of the playoff games. I would be mm -hmm. floored if we are able to see that. Just like a hundred percent pick or <laughs> ban rate for Gideon yeah. across the board. <laughs> we have Revenants over on Arctic Wolves. Um, Revenant, a huge snowball hero. You, you get him up, um, you get him up towards the mid game. Use that ultimate. Um, Bring everybody into the nether realm uh, and then fight them 1v1. Uh, cards that combo well with that is like Swamp Stalker, get that extra damage out and get the huge gold bonus, uh, the bounty from killing somebody in the nether realm, and then snowballing ahead, uh, not allowing Belka to get to the late game, not allowing Drongo to get fed, not allowing uh, Quang <clears throat> to get ahead as well. It, 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 I, I hate Revenant and his auto aim obliterate that chases you across the map and makes mm -hmm. you nightmares. You just wake up as a kid. <laughs> you're like, all right, teleported out. Oh, 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 oh dead. <laughs> Follows you across the map. Yeah. And uh, guys, just a quick announcement. I did forget to mention this earlier. Uh, the draft is in. The finals will be next Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to start with Division 2 finals and then roll right into the Division 1 finals. So make sure you're here. I believe it's going to be um, – sorry. It's going to be, uh, I believe, myself and Agent Deli doing uh, the finals over there. And also, mm -hmm. PML 10 is this weekend. We have 14 teams signed up, including Reborn, including uh, Sir's Raids, including Guile Esports, the new crowd favorite coming up. So we're excited. But I believe we're ready to jump into this match. I'm at seven seconds in game. Same. All right. Let's jump right in. Let me make sure the spoiler's up. Spoiler's up. Arctic Wolves. Did I spell Arctic right? Yes, I did. All right. And we're going to start in three, two, and one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Paragon Fight Night's first ever playoff game. Reborn versus Arctic Wolves. Deli, go through the roster. Let us know who's playing what. Over on to Arctic Wolves, we have Survivor on Revenant. We have Crazy Fool on Narbash. We have Tau Reno on Iggy mid lane. We have Calamity on Shimbi off lane and Cranky Trash Can on Aurora Jungle. And wow. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and go ahead for that's, Reborn. That's, that, that's a bold pick. Um, <laughs> over on Reborn, we have Involve on Gadget mid lane, Nato Sick on Drongo carry, Jaleo Grande on Rampage jungle, Reflect on Quang off lane, Master Splinter on Belka support. Who do you like in the draft? Who do you think won the draft? Um, I mean, I mean, I'm really liking Reborn, but I might have to give this one to Arctic Wolves. The Shinbi's very strong, not to be underestimated. Um, Iggy's ultimate, not to be underestimated as well. If Reborn group, I mean, Arctic Wolves has lots of capabilities to punish them. 
Um, especially with all the, the AoE ultimates that they have. Look at Inva being very, very aggressive early on, hitting them with those sticky mines, getting Tellerino, having to back off with about 150 health already. Involved not letting him set up the turrets and being ultra aggressive, exactly what you have to do against an Iggy, not let Iggy get comfortable. Those turrets set up as a caster, you're done. You have to assert your lane dominance early on an Iggy, right? You have to force out the Aurora jungle in order to come out to help to push back involved on that gadget so that Taurino can set up uh, the Iggy mid lane and, and grab lane dominance once again. But gadget just not letting Iggy do that. And that's that's how you play against an Iggy. You shut him down early, you push him back so that he doesn't set up his territory right in front of your doorstep, and you win your lane. I, I, I think the involved is being so aggressive is because he knows that Cranky Trash Can is a uh, is Aurora jungle, and it takes Aurora a little longer to get, get going. So he's not fearing the early game gank coming from Aurora. J. Leo wasting no time invading the enemy jungle, getting that black buff that does vision, which you can see through the fog wall, and also mm -hmm. a slow for that early game game. I mean, 3,000 units around, a 3,000 unit radius around. He pops the green buff, just grab the black buff. A popular route now from junglers, and steal the enemy black, because you know that they're still going to be on their green around that time. Um, J. Leo opting for a call of the week to get that early game clear time, jungle assassin, jungle lifesteal. Things like that that give you an edge on clear times. You're going to beat the enemy jungler by 10, 20, 30 seconds. That is just enough to grab the black buff, get out, and execute a quick gank. I'm interested to see how Jay Leo plays Rampage also. If he's going to go the, the meta ramp uh, pure damage Rampage, or if he's going to go super dangerous. He's got a lot of trouble. There's the test zone going over the top. Was able to get a lot of it, a lot of bit of damage. A lot of bit of damage on him was able to get out of there, was involved. He tried to save Jay Leo, could, would not happen. Cranky Trash Can with that root and that extra damage was able to finish him off. Calamity over, back over in his offline. He has to be careful uh, with NATO. NATO does not miss autos, and then he has an aimbot, AKA uh, <laughs> old Cranky. Look at Reflect and all kinds of trouble. Now he's trying to get out. Nice dunk by Crazy Ball coming in very early. Chasing him just as I spoke. We the obliterate. <laughs> yes. The aimbot obliterate. <laughs> oh. Absolutely. And tracking you down anywhere you go. Just shutting down Quang, uh, shutting down J. Leo early. Uh, Reflex, if if he wins his lane, allows to form up. I mean, he is going to be a menace. Like, he is going to just dominate that lane. He's going to split push. He's, he's ultimately going to be a, a bigger problem in the mid to late game than in the early game. Um, so you really give him that rough early game start, and he's, he's going to start. NATO has start to figure out. NATO has to be looking at Survivor in trouble. J. Leo coming over, making him. He's going to do the nice little slide in Survivor, not even having a chance, able to get out. Reflex slicing and dicing was able to finish him off with J. Leo in there with those big mids. Clemente trying to get out of the way. He does able to get out, get back under the tower. He's safe. We do see Crazy Fool rotating over with the big old pumpkin head. Probably the best skin in the game right now is what Crazy Fool is rocking with the Narbass. In my humble opinion. No towers taken down. A couple kills going back and forth. Missing. Oh, oh Crazy Fool all by himself up there. It has to be in trouble. Reflex does miss his, his impossible tether to miss. According to somebody. Nice ride by Jay Leo. He's in trouble. Crazy Fool not going to be able to get out of this. Being body blocked by both of them. Sending up a brick wall. Here goes Crazy Fool trying to run away. Song my people on. Oh, Survivor comes over and tries to stop him. Niggles the obliterate. Jay Leo's running. He's in trouble. Cranky Trash is following him up. Arctic Wolves. Dominating the early game team fights right now. Doing a great job rotating all over with a little bit of bait. Arctic Wolves with a 3-1 uh, advantage to the team just now. Calamity gets a size of assault by Bellic over there. Master Splinter, glad to see him back playing. Wow. Reborn being a little aggressive and paying for it. <laughs> Coming out of the gate strong. Reborn want to set the pace of the game. They want to they want to push Arctic Wolves to the ring and say, this is our early game, this is our mid game and we're gonna dominate the late game because we have a handful of scaling heroes. And to combat that, Arctic Wolves is rotating everybody so beautifully and utilizing all the stuns that they have to lock down here. Right now, they're just playing for six. Calamity going all over NATO right now, getting those stacks up, trying to do everything he can to Shimby, chasing him down, NATO in trouble. There goes the L, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, good night. Master Splint didn't miss the second of the stuff. If he, if he had his all, he would be able to finish off. Jay Leo didn't miss the rock. Getting away is Calamity right now, trying to back off. 
and we're seeing Arctic Wolves playing as a huge underdog as they got beat up by Reborn just two weeks ago. Playing very well right now. I like it. They put in the time. They said, we want this prize pool. $550 is going out. 80% of that is going to the D1 team. So it's over a $400 prize pool going to Division 1. Only first and second place get paid out. So we'll see what happens. All right, look at that obliterate doing all kinds of damage. Nice song with my people. Oh, right, here comes Cranky Trash King coming over. Nato News there sliding in. Does hit a Toro Frost. He's going to grab him. Nice time to try to slow him down. Not enough minions here to do a lot of damage. Nato turns around and trying to run. Nice juke. Yeah, Steve Prefontaine got his Nikes down. He's getting out. Is he going to get out of this? Looks like he might be able to escape. And trying to turn it around was uh, Cranky Trask and try to get anyone. A failed gank on a three-man rotation? That's a win for Reborn. I, I mean, at this point in time, Arctic Wolves has to get what they can from an advantage and, and leave with that, right? You see a failed gank, grab the gold buff. I mean, get one pick on Drago earlier, like, grab as much lane, shove it under the tower, deny them farm. I mean, right now, Arctic Wolves is just responding to the aggressiveness of Reborn. Uh, and we're gonna start to see Reborn might back it up a little bit. Say, Jay Leo might say, hey guys, we need to tone it down a little bit. Uh, we're getting picked here. They're rotating a lot more efficiently than we are. Like, just play it safe for a little bit. Once we get our level fives up, uh, once we get to our level, like, <clears throat> nine power spikes, and we could start really not fearing picks. So just ward up for a little bit, guys. Um, make sure that Fangtooth is secured. Uh, so we do have a ward on Fangtooth just so that Arctic Wolves doesn't get a couple picks and then rotates everybody on over. Because with Iggy, they can melt Fangtooth fairly quickly uh, just with a handful of turrets up. Don't make fun of Rainbow Quang. We like Rainbow Quang. We see the Evolve once again being involved, being very aggressive. He's been up on that side, but that is the downfall to Gazi. has no power damage whatsoever coming in as a pure caster. Jay Leo hiding in the jungle, sees Cranky Trash Can. They do not like each other, so they're letting it known. We'll see if they beat up on each other right here. Calamity defending his tower, very good job, has it down. Um, on the opposite, only one tower is down right now. Oh, we got a little bit of action going in over here. Following Jay Leo, see what happens mid lane. As the camera sends me into the wall and I can't turn around. Jay Leo all over the jungle, just wasting time going after Craigie Traskin. That health regen might be kicking in right now. Uh, Jay Leo has Tyrant and Flame Possession. Turn around, deciding to go after the, the green buff. Taking out, and look at this, Arctic Wolves is closing in on him. They know he's there. It's a four, it's gonna be a four and possibly two. He's gonna have to hit his all. I don't know if he's gonna have enough to get out of it. Tesla's all over the top side of the table. Was not enough involved in all kinds of trouble running into a wall now. Crazy, crazy fool trying to get out. Nice tether right there. Calamity. In, involved is not getting away. Involved is not gonna, if he gets away, he's my new hero. I am gonna send my mouse pad to have him sign my mouse pad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god! He almost got away. No, no mouse pad oh. signing. But Nato was right there to finish him off anyway. I believe that was a two for one in favor of Bronze Army. Or Bronze Army in favor of Arctic Wolves once again. Arctic Wolves looking impressive, looking like they're putting in the time, playing in that in-house league as a squad, trying to make it known. And they have, I mean, both teams really have three Flame of Zetchins up. Um, two for that Fang Tooth secure, right? That is a huge objective. You have to do, you have to contest that. You have to gain that first thousand early game gold. Um, it's one attribute across the board for everyone. It's five thousand gold that you are potentially denying to the other team for another three and a half minutes or another three minutes um, down the down the road. So lots of flame possessions coming out. Uh, we have Cranky Trash Can on a roar picking up the Tyrant card. Uh, what's the, the impressive three O? Uh, versus the Jaleo with the 1 3, also picking up the Tyrant. But instead of getting Gre Green Spring, opting for a little bit more currency with Coin Master. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised that we're 11, almost 11 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 seconds into the game and we haven't seen a fight? Oh, involved in all kinds of trouble right now. He's trying to get away without 200 health. He was able to get away. Oh, oh Torino was taking off the map. Oh, he's not. I did correct it. If that hit him, Crane Trash Can with a nice alt securing the kill on involved and then just getting away. Jay Leo reborn with her backs against the wall. Arctic Wolves putting pressure on and keeping it on. I like what we're seeing. Where I was just about to say we're 11 minutes in and we're yet to see a fight for the very powerful. Oh, Jay Leo going in right now. Crane trying to get away. 
Master Splinter did use his nor Neural Disruptor. Hit absolutely no one crazy fast. Uh, fool right there. That's what a nice dunk. He's going to die for that, though. No way he's getting away from four or Reborn. Reborn's too good for that. Uh, oh, probably a useless death. Just as I say that, now they're going over to Mr. Bang Tooth. Because you got to say it loud because it's all in caps. Let's see what happens. We're going to stay right over the pit here. Now, is this a bait? Or are they going to pure go for it? We have two Zetions. One on Calamity, one on Taurino, and then one on Cranky Trash Can coming right on the backside of our people. I mean, they have securing three also on the other side of Rebar as well. I did not see who got that because of the big team fight right there. Oh, Jay Leo was taking off the map very quickly. He went on one on one. Involved trying to run away. Oh, nice. Calamity and all kinds of stuff, but taking off the map. Throws in a pose, strike a pose. Nice job right there by uh, Reborn. Turned it around. I'm not sure who got it. Uh, if I had to guess, I'm gonna assume Reborn did. Epic, please put a put a um, Fang Tooth calculator thing in the replay, please. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> I, I believe Reborn got it. It was tough to sell there. But if they did, let's take a look at the gold. Yeah, I think they did. Cause all, I think Reborn got it, yeah. Yeah, because now all of a sudden they're ahead in gold after losing all those team fights. And the creep score, yeah. I believe Reborn did get it. So they got it, and just like that, that's the power of Fangtooth. Down all those kills, they turned around, got two kills, and got Fangtooth, and now they're ahead in gold. I, swear, I love the objective base that Epic put in. I like it. I know that a lot of people aren't a fan of the neon colors in the HUD, but it's all customizable. You saw the community corner. It's going in the right direction. It creates a lot more team fight. It's not just 20 minute or prime fight anymore. It's every three minutes. <laughs> and and that gives a lot of the chance of uh, the comeback mechanic, right? Like that gives a lot of uh, a boost in self-esteem to Reborn, right? Like they were down a couple of kills. They were down some gold. And they got Fang Tooth, even out the gold, came out with two kills, forced the fight, um, and then now came out ahead. Now they just reset. It's, it's a fresh game. Equal, um, yeah. It's a fresh I mean, game right now. Starting from page one now. Yep. Both off lane towers down, and that's really it. Mid lane, maybe a quarter difference in, in favor of Reborn. Very fresh game right now. Um, it, 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 I've seen it a lot, in a lot of the matches I've played since Fang Tooth. You can be dominating the game, a team gets Fang Tooth, wins a team fight, gets Fang Tooth again, all of a sudden they're even with you. That that speed boost on the second upgrade is huge for your entire team. And then you can't you can't forget about the third one. A additional damage to non hero units. Additional damage to Orb Prime, additional damage to extra Fang Tooth, and additional damage to Towers. I mean, that, that's a huge one to have. Reflex, Fresh Man Boom in trouble right now, Crazy Fool, trying to get away. We saw, he's going to get away here. He's running, he's running. Oh, what the fuck, we're down, down. Nice job by Crazy Fool. Oh my god, Reflex still alive. How's he alive? Okay, he's dead. He died on that one. Nice thunk by Crazy Fool. That had to be the absolute edge of the of the thunk range right there. Jaylee going on Cranky Traskin right now. Notice he's in trouble. Horror Frost goes off. Oh, is the dog going to hip hop in time? There goes the dog. It's healthy gen kicking in right now. 150 plus healthy gen has over 1,000 health. They're not going to be able to kill him. We did hear Nose Disruptor go off. Cranky Trash came running away right now. Oh my god, I stand corrected. I did not see the sneaky bomb on him. Nice job by Involve. Involve is probably the best mid laner in NA, if not the world. I try to watch him a lot to learn. And he's just, and look at this. They're setting up around the um, Fang Tooth right now. Both teams not wanting to give it up because if Reborn gets that second one, they get that movement speed and that little bit of, uh, I believe the second one is little damage and movement speed, right? Because then the third one yes, is damage uh, and power. Mm -hmm. Four power and 10% out of yeah. combat movement speed. They're setting up. They know it's respawning soon. And if Iggy can set up three turrets in there, you're not going to be able to do anything. I, I'm assuming they're fighting Fang Tooth. I don't see him on the map right now. <laughs> So, Save yeah. for a bit. <laughs> so we got the invisible Fang Tooth, and they did get it. So that's two Fang Tooths to zero in favor of Reborn. Reborn, after being down for the first 11, 12 minutes of the match, in the last five minutes, have turned around and taking the lead. That you're going to see the chases, the follow ups, all that. It, it's basically having hot pursuit for all the heroes in the game with that bug. 
Minus the sirens. The sirens are Let's just be honest with ourselves here. Why don't we do this real quick? Let's fix some of these replay bugs while they're resetting. Mm -hmm. All right. Pause. Plus 10. Minus 10. I am at 1619 in game. Uh, if you give me a quick second, I'll be right on there. While you're doing that, we'll just take a quick look at the creep score. We have 306 Arctic Wolves to 312 Reborn with 70,000 gold for Reborn and 71,000 for Arctic Wolves. Very even game, 9 and 7 to 7 and 9. Very, very, very easy game. Uh, even game. Offlane Towers down. Uh, Reborn just got the mid from Arctic Wolves down. Are you ready at 1619? Yes, sir. At 3, 2, 1, live. All right. We are back. And we tower. Once again, Paragon Fight Night Season 1 playoffs right here. Again, started with 20. We're down to the final four teams. Um, the final eight teams, excuse me. Four teams for Division 1. Four teams for Division 2. Once again, Season 2 will kick off December 14th with three divisions. A pro division, semi-pro division, and an amateur division. Pro division is going to be invite only with only the top teams going on. And already $250 set for Calamity. Moving up. It might be in a little bit of trouble. There's a three on one. Jay Lou decides not to go after him, backs off, and settles back in. Smart move right there. I, I hope we got all the replay bugs gone. Um, while they're resetting a little bit, any interesting cards that you see right now? Uh, actually, Cranky Trash Can running Wicked Repose. Um, the ability to purify yourself of all debuffs and deal 75 ability damage to nearby enemy units for a negative effect removed. Have a 90 second timer on it. 75 mana cost. I mean, that's going to be great to, well, essentially self explanatory debuff yourself, uh, get out of sticky situations, and we've seen Cranky. So Leo had no <laughs> chance. Involved is just poking the hell out of him with those sticky bombs. It's a very wide rate. Oh my god, it looks like Involved right now is like skating. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> and oh, are they going? Is Reborn going for Prime? They are going for Prime. Like early Prime? Let's see, they're going after it right now. 18 minutes. I don't think this is a bait because they're all there. All five are there. Bellica drone is down, trying to zone. No, nope, they're backing off right now. Jay Leo goes in, Calamity in trouble. That's Ross right there. Oh, he's good. Oh, Calamity is able to get out. Jay Leo going in. He has to be in trouble. He went in deep by himself. He was able to secure the kill there. Turning around. Crazy Bull in trouble. Sticking by on top. That's going to take him off the map as well. Nice job by Reborn. Turn around. Taking. What, what, what Reborn did is they're taking, in, in my opinion, they're taking the aggressiveness that Arctic Wolves was using and making them pay for it now. They're making them pay for it. Like they like, Now they're going to go and they're going to get this prime. Two people off the map. I don't think um, Arctic Wolves can beat this. They did oh. get it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Cranky just hit with just everything Reborn has. They do have to... Be careful with that left lane, losing a potential jump pad here on the left lane, but trading it out. Everybody grouping in the right lane. I mean, they are forcing Arctic Wolves into, Reborn is forcing Arctic Wolves into bottlenecks and picking people as they come off oh, one by look one. Look at that rock by Jay Leo and Delino. He's not getting out of that. Tesla Dome over the top. Jay Leo saying, I am the best jungler in NA. Deal with it. Like, like what he's doing right now, throws another rock, hit Survivor in the face. Oh. Searching to destroy on top of Crazy Bull. He can't move right now. They're going on. That's just one inhibitor down. 18 minutes into the game right now. Reborn doing a nice shot. They sent one person back. It was Quang. Quang did go back. Uh, Reflect did go back to save that inhibitor. And they took three out. Right now. Ar Arctic That's a power Wolves. play. Yeah. A power play. <laughs> Arctic Wolves in all kinds of trouble. Had a, dominated the first 12 minutes of the game. Reborn. Look at this. Back off. They know they're not going to end. And wh where do they go for? They're going for that third all-important Fang Tooth. This is the Fang Tooth that's, in my opinion, a little too strong. And they have Prime, so they're going to take it down. That's 3-0. So now they have the movement speed and three damage boost. And that one gives uh, extra damage to towers as well. Or not not just towers, uh, structures. Structures, yeah. Any, anything non-hero. Wow. Well... Clearing minion waves like a monster. Oh my goodness. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Iggy's just sitting there, not really dead, but dead on my map. <laughs> Re replay. More bugs. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful replay system. Now nah, they're working on it. They said they got a new one coming, so 
I'll wait and see. Hopefully the HUD's a little customizable as well. Inbob rotating over to the left lane. Reflect has it on. He has well cranky. Uh, crazy has to just let this go. He is letting it go down. They have to reset right now. They, they're in a little bit of trouble. Levels are pretty even. Gold are pretty even. Only about a 3,000 difference in gold overall. That's not too bad. That's one thing. And they can do that. They can't let a second inhibitor go down, though. They have to respawn and get back there. Reborn still has 49 seconds left of OP. It could be... Oh, Craig coming in. Nice horror frost. He's going to grab a little bit of everyone, but they did spread out nicely here. Crash Band Boom going off on Reflex. They're just spread out all over the place. Master Split is going to go down. Two goes down. I believe that was... I can't tell who the second one was. Oh, Search and Destroy. Calamity. Trying to finish him off. Wow. NATO deleted Survivor by himself, taking off the map. Nice job again. That's, that's a win for Arctic Wolves. Two for two when the other team has old Prime. And they still got their, their lane clear there. And they still got Cranky alive. That's a win right now. But it looks like Reborn's going to settle and back off and not give up that second inhibitor. It's all about the small victories. Baby steps, right? Baby steps to recovery. You take what you can get. Now we just need to push out the lanes again. Um, Arctic Wolves is on a huge back foot right now, but they are only one in hip down. I mean, it could be, it could technically be worse, um, but they are only one in hip down. They do have a shimmy. They do um, have an icky. They can relegate that lane to um, their carry. Um, Survivor, not the best wave clearing hero ever, but he can grab the farm. He can level up. He's got a couple kills now in the nether realm, so he is... 24,000 gold compared to 23,000. He is ahead in gold. And he has Deathcrawler. What do you think about Deathcrawler and Revenant? That fifth think, shot, oh my goodness. It's so strong. Like, <laughs> not only do you get, I think Deathcrawler gives you 250%. 250% bonus damage on top of the, I believe, 200 damage that Rev's fourth shot already gives you. Uh, basic damage, just absolutely insane. Reborn, for like absolutely baiting thing to daring them to go in right now, and Arctic Wolves just backing off, giving it up. Very, I, I guess you kind of have to because they can't afford to lose a team fight. They have and, to respect it. Yeah, and Shimbi's on the other side of the map, keeping that down, keeping that in hip down. See, it's interesting. Remember, in competitive play, teams like to take the opposite lane of Prime all the time. They get that inhibitor down, so they have the quick access to OP. Now, I want, I want to see if it's going to start being the opposite lane of Fang 2. Get that first inhibitor down and just can grab one or two Fang 2s, and then the next World Prime, you can win the game. I mean, it's four Fang 2s to zero now, I believe. It's a like, right and reborn. I believe so, yes. And I mean, like, they have all the extra power that they need for a reborn. I mean, they could, at this, hypothetically, they can just end the game right now. Like, they don't technically need Prime. I mean, they had Prime, they took a huge advantage of it. Uh, took inhib, took T2s, um, just crippling Arctic Wolves right now. But Arctic Wolves still keeping, being adamant about keeping their towers up. Still trying to get those ticks, still trying to catch one or two people out. But it's very hard to fight a 4v5. Oh my goodness, nice rock by J. Leo. Seismic Assault, Tesla Dome over the top. Having absolutely no chance with Torino there. Was obliterated. J. Leo just being a bully with Rampage. I don't think we're going to see Rampage allowed in that next match. Because after that five minute mark, once he got his ult, Rampage is his. Lack of better word, beastly. And he's going tanky Rampage, which I do like. Calamity going in. Seismic Assault once again by Master Splinter. Search and destroy, not allowing him to move. This is going to be another in inhibitor. This should be GG at the 25 minute mark, which is about average for competitive play. Wow, uh, Reflex just soloing, <laughs> yeah. soloing Revit over here in the, in the uh, over by the core. Gonna pause it real quick, take a quick look at endgame builds. We saw Reborn get ahead, or fall behind early, and Arctic Wolves was very aggressive, and they were winning all the team fights. They were doing mm -hmm. very well with it, and then they got that, that they won that fight on um, Fang Tooth, and it all changed. So, the gear shifted. They got the gold lead. Um, they got all they heard. They got all the scaling heroes that they needed up 
and out of the way of, of that or the cumbersome early game, right? We have Gadget uh, involved, just doing absolutely tons of work for Reborn. Just such a star player. Just locking down the Search and Destroy, slowing people, and then the rest of Reborn, while they're basically almost uh, stunlocked, uh, just throw in the rest of the, the CC that they need. So Lieutenant Belka knock up, uh, the Seismic Assault from Lieutenant Belka, Judgment of the Heavens from the Quang, um, the Rock from Rampage, um, the Drongo, uh, Silence. I mean, it's... You're basically going to die either <laughs> way, right? You walk in, single file line, and you get a limited single file. But look, look at the overall scores right now. It was 11 19 to 14 11 KDA, uh, 107,000 gold to 104,000 gold. It was it was a relatively even match. It, it, it was it was like uh, the tale of two halves. First 12 minutes, all Arctic Wolves. Second 12 minutes, all Reborn. I mean, it, it was uh-huh. it, it was well played. Anything interesting in these builds or anything in particular that you see that you like, dislike? We do see one, two Sprikins, three Sprikins, four Sprikins. Look at all the Zetchins. The return of the Zetchin. I mean, the <laughs> objective secure is real here, right? Like, you cannot let that happen. Which I'm a little, uh, I guess, surprised that Arctic Wolves let so many Fangtooths go with mm-hmm. the amount of Zetchin still equipped, mm-hmm. right? If you're going to let that go, unequip Zetchin, go for another card. At that point, that curved card is, is moot, right? You're not going to be using it. You're basically just using it to farm a little bit quicker for the Super Minion Wave, which... They only had Shimmy relegated to the majority of the time anyways. Um, so she picked up a little bit more um, Vital Waters to synergize with the Possessed Brycon and the Numbing Road to cut the DPS. But unfortunately, since she was there in the, the downed inhibitor lane half the time, she was it was a 4v5. So um, cards like... Um, there was only one or two effective cards that was really shutting people down on Reborn, right? And that was Plague Lord Malak. But unfortunately, Taurino was just getting caught out every single time with a beautiful Jaleo Rock just down the lane, um, search and destroy from Involve. I mean, just the follow-up on Reborn uh, is astounding. All right, guys, we're, we'll are we be back in just a few minutes. We're going to take uh, about a six-minute break, get everything set up for game two. Remember, it's Paragon Fight Night. It's the season. Every week is the best of three matchups. We're in the playoffs. So, Arctic Wolves has to win to stay in, and then it can be a winner takes all, goes to the finals. Finals will be next Saturday. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 12 p.m. Central, um, and we'll, we'll we'll see. We might do D2 game after this, or we might not. Agent Deli and I will talk about it. But in a few minutes, we'll be back for Reborn versus Arctic Wolves game two. See you guys in just a few.
Now going over the top. Is he able to do? Oh, nice recall. Pulls him out. Yeah, that's all. He's down to under 100. He's going to get a lot of trouble. Smash grab. Pulling him in. He's down to about 300 health. But there is a favor right now. World going in. Trying. Mr. Guru. Oh, nice. He turns around and gets the steal all on a Guru. Bringing him down. Nice smash and grab by World. Pulling him in. He's on top of him. Gets that bleed going. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, he misses that. That smash grab. This is a fader. A feeder is not done. For the recall. He dropped down. He also hit it. Oh, nice. Oh, and with was able to jump in. He is saved by Master Splinter's Woo! hook. Did you Labor see that? Over and got everyone four for one right there. Very well done. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for game two. Reborn versus Arctic Wolves. I'm your host, Huddy GTV. Along with my co-host, Mr. The Man, The Myth, The Legend, himself, Agent Deli. You make you? me sound taller than I am. <laughs> <laughs> we are back for game two. Uh, we saw a tale of two halves. Arctic Wolves dominated the first 12 minutes. Reborn dominated the second 12 minutes and won the game. A couple fang tooths swayed the game right then and there. Um anything yeah it's it's in caster's chat um any anything in particular that you saw that you liked or you did not like or anything like that like what uh, sorry go ahead sorry one second I, I was i was thinking sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you yeah it's all good um it's in cat the draft is in caster's chat take your time it should be there um Everything's in there. It was a very awesome game, to be honest. Again, over $550 on the line. Again, PML10 is this weekend. Uh, we will be casting it. Delhi will be my co-host for this weekend. Sylphin has military, so unfortunately he can't make it. Um, so Delhi, Delhi will be stepping in in the big man shoes. Um, a, lot, a lot of stuff going on. I'm excited. Again, Paragon Fight Night Season 2. We'll be starting December 14th, that week. Uh, invite only, send out uh, for the, the will be three divisions, pro division, which is invite only, uh, semi-pro, which are going to be some of the teams that have been around for a while, that played very well, and then the open slash amateur division. Uh, already $250 worth of donations are set up for that. Uh, thank you to the community and thank you to our sponsors. So we'll be getting that going. Um, but that being said, do you have the draft ID? You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's jump right into this draft. Um, yeah, okay, and three, two, one, go ahead and start the draft. As they take their time. Taking their time. Give me some elevator music. Do, 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 do. We have the Aurora Van over for Arctic Wolves. Interesting. Especially since they used it last game. Maybe they have some some type of comp against AoE stuns. Then over on Reborn. Taking their sweet time again. Going into extra time. And we have the Rampage ban, actually, over on Reborn. Uh, interesting, because they chose it last time. <clears throat> Wonder what kind of strat that they have going on here for Reborn. With the Rampage ban gone, I mean, or with the Rampage ban up onto the table, I mean, they have a handful of junglers. Up. They have Crunch, which we've seen Jaleo very proficient on. Um, we have Grux with the new Deathcrawler. Um, just huge huge amounts of burst damage uh, but we have rt wolves bringing wraith onto the field a uh, very very good adc um he's got a wonderful ultimate uh surprise surprise uh he's got pseudo wards um very self-sufficient over on reborn we're picking up gideon for the huge three and a half second stun uh that's interesting that they let gideon over on rt wolves allow gideon over onto reborn uh, then Reborn picking up Shinbi. But over onto the other side, Arctic Wolves picking up Lieutenant Belica. 
everybody's favorite anti-caster, and Iggy and Scorch, um, possibly putting very um, careful thinking behind Gideon Ultimates, right? Because if, if Iggy and Scorch is already set up Gideon Ultimates in, uh, and Iggy and Scorch uh, allows uh, that Gideon, and if he's outside of it, my bad guys, if he's outside of it and he burns down Gideon before the ultimate gets completed, before the team can capitalize, it's going to be a huge, uh, huge detriment over on the side of Reborn. Reborn picking up Drongo as well. I mean, they have... A, Reborn has a very strong comp, and there goes the Grux. Um... So the Gideon ult the Gideon black hole into the Grux smash and grab. I mean, they have absolutely amazing combo potential. Um over on Reborn, over on Arctic Wolves, they have a lot of setup potential here too. They have Severog um coming over and repositioning people, Wraith repositioning people into a Belka knockup, uh, into into the Iggy and Scorch um burning sensation. Lots and lots of powerful Repositioning tools uh, for Arctic Wolves and over on Reborn. Lots of punishment for grouping uh, over on Reborn. Lots of burst damage over on Reborn as well. Arctic Wolves just more sustained damage over a large AoE. And then picking up a uh, Howitzer, uh, further complementing the AoE damage that Arctic Wolves is bringing to the team, right? last pick for Reborn. Let's hope they go for something crazy. Arctic Wolves promised us something crazy in game two. Crazy Fool jumped Let's... in and promised something crazy. <laughs> they have FaZe. FaZe over on Reborn. Uh, complimenting that. The Hyperflux complimenting the damage that the Drone can go output with the Rad Rounds. Um, Interesting. I'm I'm hope I'm hoping to see NATO sick just going into the front line, baiting everybody into the around the corner, into the Grux smash and grab, into the perfectly <laughs> timed Gideon black hole. Let's see what we can get. I can't believe we actually have a Gideon in game. I can't believe we have a Halter in game. I haven't seen a I hot second. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get ready to jump right into this match. Let me close this draft. Uh -huh. I am at what am I at? Seven seconds? Six seconds in game. Seven seconds. Oh, Seven oh. seconds here. Give me one yep. second. Oh, rip. I'm at nine. Go to nine. Nine seconds. You're at nine seconds? Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to start in three, two, one, and live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Paragon Fight Night. Game two of the playoffs of the semifinal. Reborn versus Arctic Wolves. $550 on the line for the season. Hope to see you guys all for PML 10 this weekend, Saturday. All oh, the action starts. And uh, Paragon Fight Night Season 2 starts the week of December 14th. Uh, Deli, walk us through the team comps. All righty. Uh, over on Arctic Wolves, we have Calamity on the Severog off lane. We have Cranky Trash Can on, okay, uh, on Howie Jungle. I think that is a Howie Jungle. Uh, Taurito on Iggy Midlade. Survivor on Wraith Carry, uh, Crazy Fool on Delica Support. Over on Reborn, we have Master Splinter on Phase Support, Involve on Gideon Mid Lane, Reflect on Shimbi Off Lane, Nato Sick on Drongo Carry, and Jaleo Grande on everybody's favorite Burst Assassin jungler, Grux. Oh my goodness. I want, you think he's going Death Crawler? Do you think he's uh, going I mean, Grunge? he has to. I mean, I th it's huge right now. The burst damage, I mean, they have phase to complement the the amount of damage to speed up his damage and heal him. So if he's in the front line for too long, I mean, Deathcrawler's five second reset timer and double pain is, I believe, four or five seconds as well. So pretty much any time that there's a fight, I mean, he can walk into the front line, lay down the burst damage, walk out of the front line, and uh, get pulled right back into the front line with phase right over her head. We have lots of grouping over here onto the left lane, um, over onto Reflex lane. Looks like Howie's put down a lot of damage. Is that a Howie carry? I, that can't be Howie carry. That's cranky. That's cranky. Oh, He's okay. a jungler. Okay. Like, that's that's a Howie jungle. That is uh, that's something else. They they they, they went, I, I, or are they just not jungling? Saying screw it. 
I don't I, maybe, I don't know. Maybe Jay Lee will take the jungle. Maybe Jay Lee is junglers for both teams. <laughs> no, no, you can't you can't let Grux get ahead. It it looks like they're putting three into the lane here. Um uh, Crazy Fool, the captain of Art of Wolf, <laughs> promised us something interesting. And, and he's delivered. Have, it, we, he's delivered. We have something interesting going on. They're gonna try to get this tower down very quickly. Um, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked, to be honest. I mean, he did give us a head of up. He did say something crazy was gonna happen. So, um, crazy full promises. Of oh, nice smash and grab right there. And oh my God! <laughs> what just happened? A nuke just went off. <laughs> Control Alt Delete mid lane. I mean left lane. <laughs> By Volstock coming out from two of the members on Arctic Wolves, uh, Survivor on the Wraith and Crazy Full on the Lieutenant Belka. It's a card you all see every day. What the hell? Interesting. Going for that early experience and giving up the gold. Interesting. Maybe they just farm. I guess if they just use the jungle as uh, your kind of your infinite gold source, Cranky Trash Gang getting caught out over here. He's in all kinds of trouble running away right now. Oh, he is getting... Oh, missing the seismic assault was crazy for as a support. Doesn't happen often. Oh, nice recall. Pulling him back in. And the R2000 to the face. Took him off. Said goodnight. No, I did mean control alt delete because you can end the process. Through windows, if you control alt delete so when you can end the process, Howitzer is technically a half robot. So, hence, end the program. Dark. Went way over your head. Whoosh. <laughs> Reef, like, losing his tower. I believe that's right, correct? He lost his tower because there were three people in that lane. Uh, I don't even think they're doing a jungle at all. I think Cranky Trash Can is just like, so that's, that's just that's three people in the uh, in the safe lane. I, I, want, I, I believe. I think, let's see if they go after the quick four minute. Um, four or five minute uh, fang tooth. Look at Cranky just, it looks cool because he's just sliding it. They're going after the early C2, fully man. Where's the recall? Was able to get away very easily, was reflect. Reflect as Shimbi gives me nightmare. It, it's any, actually, let me rephrase that. When I hit the MMR cap going against Reborn, just gave me nightmares. Made me want to uninstall the game. Reflect is like oh, pretty oh much Oh my <laughs> God. I hate Grux. Look at him. He's just coming in, being a big bully. Oh, here comes Involve rotating over, using oh. his ult to secure the kill here. I think he's going to secure it. Getting his ult is more of a setup now. Does very little damage. Come on, Involve, hit those autos. There you go. Was able to finish on Iggy rotated over just a little too late. Ladies and gentlemen, I am flabbergasted right now by this strat. Arctic Wolves is going pure troll. Let me let me phrase it. Not pure troll. Trying something different. Trying um, something different. Semi troll. Is that is that what we're calling it now? Trying something experimenting. Experimenting. I mean, they are defining the meta right now. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, <laughs> no jungle. I mean, this is what people uh, look about on Reddit, right? Uh, no jungle and just having uh, swing three in one lane or to a two two <laughs> and a one. And we're seeing it now. Meta defining, boys. <laughs> Listening to Arctic in Community Corner saying, try different metas, please. Don't fall in love with it. But they do, again, we're seeing Arctic with an early advantage again with the top lane pressure. Well, I, I don't know if Cranky is the glitched over there or what. Right now, it looks like FaZe trying to pull him away, trying to get him off the map right there. Missing the seismic assault once again was, uh, which has been crazy full. Oh, now, now Cranky's trying to get away. He's running. Going in right now, he's in all kinds of trouble. Going up over the top, here come the rockets. I see two howitzers on the map. I don't know what's going on. R2000 to the face. Nice job, I crank it, trash can. Was able to finish one. I don't know which one's live and which one's a, a drone. That's a, that's a new ability here by uh, howitzer. New hero rework. It's called the clone. Clone. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, it seems, it seems to be working. I mean, they are putting all the aggro onto a single lane. I mean, they're 
dare I say, just bot laning it, or just botting it and just <laughs> running through the right lane. Trying to get away right now with Wraith. He does use his ultimate to go invisible. Jay Leo cutting the corner, trying to keep up. Does hit the wall a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, that's that, that, another glitch? Must be. Oh, there's the recall pulling Jay Leo back. Not letting him go in. Staying with the camera here. Oh, missed it. Missed some of the action over here. <laughs> Iggy just... I have so many replay glitches. I don't know who to follow. This is so confusing. They're going after Fang 2. Let's see if they can get it. Going up and consume my camera view here. Grunts going on it. Fang's healing him. Iggy throwing in the turret. Reflex trying to get rid of that turret. Cash's nightmares are those turrets, man. You just can't get rid of them. Rotating R2000 was not able to finish them off. No one going in. Jay Leo going in. Smashing grab. Look at this. Obliterating. Obliteration. Deletion. Whatever you want to call it. Re now you're seeing the team comp come into play. Right there for Reborn. Um, 310. And they just got an extra 5,000 gold. I can't. Look, look when I click on. Um, on. Uh. Um, what the hell is his name? Survivor? It mm -hmm. brings me to his clone. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm having issues with that too as well. Uh, might have to plus 10, minus 10 here. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's do that real quick. Alright, hold on. Let's try to get rid of some of these replays, guys. Makes it tough when you're trying to uh, click on someone to see what's going on and it brings you to another area. I am at 851. 851. Why you bring that up? We see a... 10 yes, to 3 sir. advantage in favor of Reborn. And 3, 2, 1, live. Reborn dominating the team fights right now. Was able to go in and use the meta to win the team fight. Uh, we're, we're seeing Art of Wolves try that totally crazy. I wonder if they'll try it with the PML this weekend. I don't know, but Reborn going, oh, Calamity and all kinds of stuff just decides to give the kill over to NATO. Arctic Wolves. Again, I mean, they are keeping, something. they're keeping the pressure up. I mean, they have three in the right lane at all times. Uh, but I mean, Reborn is Reborn laughed at it in the beginning, and then you know their T2 is under danger. So they're like, oh hey, we actually have to rotate people over here now. Uh, Reflect going in. You trying to get those stacks up? Daily Ultimate smashing grab. Crane trash can with a nice boot to get out of it right now. Ultimate going over the top. Survivor just ate a rod. Involves not going to miss a lot of those. <laughs> the right clicks going in. Reborn ro rotating over and taking three kills again, I believe. Two kills. And that, that T2 is down, but how much is that going to cost you? You're falling really far behind. We're seeing almost a 50% difference in gold in favor of Reborn right now. If this keeps up, uh, Arctic Wolves is going to be just too far behind to do anything. Even, I mean, uh, tactical feeding, Huddy. I mean, like, they're rotating everybody. Reborn's rotating every, a lot of resources and assets over onto the left lane, over onto that T2 that's almost down already. Well, he's just pushing that mid lane. Um, but it, but it's, we have the, it's worth it when you're getting two kills every time. They're getting, every time they rotate over, they, they three-man rotate over, or four-man rotate over, and they're securing at least two kills. Reflect could be in a little bit of trouble there. Nice and soft. Nice him up in the area. No stacks, no stacks. <laughs> They're going to stack right now, trying to stay alive as Reflex. There's the recall, nicely done. Hits the boom. Oh, 2000 with Cranky Trash Guy. The Cranky Ball finishes them off. Nice shot. They were able to get Reflex out of semi out of position. He's trying to get that tower down, putting pressure over there. And they're, three, they're just not caring about the jungle. They don't care. They don't care about the jungle. I think the combination of not caring about the jungle, troll picking, and just grouping the whole time. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is where everyone says Paragon is nothing but death balling. Is incorrect. There are still mobile aspects aspects to the game. <laughs> oh, nice recall right there. Let's see. R2000. Can he get the boot to keep him down? Misses the boot right there, but Jay Leo is taking all kinds of damage. Face with the pull. Pulls him out of there. Coming in. NATO jumps out as well. Involved. Is he going to go over the top here? Let's see. Seismic Assault. Involved just standing there. I can't see him taking damage, taking no kind of damage. Crazy fall and all kinds of trouble. Reflex returns in favor, takes him away with the reflex. Not use his ultimate. Serena ulting right now, but it's going all over. Reflex going in. 
the land and he's trying to get it. He wants the stack. Can he get it? Yes, he does. He does secure the kill. A uh, three for one in favor of Reborn once again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely tactical feeding on Arctic Wolves in the playoffs. Look at Jay Leo with those massive grabs, man. Lord Volstock and Groot. I mean, I, I, that's, that's what's happening right now. Um, There's no, it's not death balling, it's just beating the crap out of someone. I mean, it, it, that's all it is right now. It, 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 it's a mismatch. It, it's Mayweather versus McGregor in the ring right now. Reborn absolutely doing whatever the hell they want. Arctic Wolves trying something different, trying to shove the lane. They pushed it early and often. Got, looked like they were going to take advantage. But then they just kept getting wiped out. Three kills, three kills, three kills. And now you have a 67,000 gold to 40,000. Uh, 40, and a 17 and 6 to 68. I, I, I just, I don't get it. Calamity in trouble right now. We're going to see Reflect dive that top. No, he decides to back off with the new red buff. Uh, Reborn going after, I believe that's this is going to be the second bang two. We're gonna get it unbothered jumping over right now survivor in all kinds of trouble tries to use this all there you see the power of the gideon all pulling him in but it didn't do enough damage he was able to get out nice move by cranky trash can nice gideon uh involved didn't have a chance to land just got bounced around coming into a oh my gentle jesus <laughs> ladies and gentlemen that was a control f4 that's what just happened there involved his window was closed didn't get to go it's anywhere. It's seismic assault, death. But it, as I'm saying that, Reborn is very far ahead. Nice seismic assault. We're after the recall against NATO. Oh, he just got ulted by FaZe. Now he's going to be trying to crazy ball. Has to try to get out of this. Trying to stay with the action. The camera throws me into the wall there. Missing the boot. Was Cranky Trash can. Did not get him. Saw Master Splinter. Use that phase. Get that health regen going. Very early. And off. J. Leo comes in. Oh, those rad rounds are going to finish him off. Yeah, he had no chance. What's the health regen? On, idling at 21 health regen on phase right now. That's going to make NATO very dangerous and very hard to kill. They have to focus Master Splinter, get him off the map. Reborn, go, Reborn not wanting to play around. Going right after Orpran. They, they don't want it. They have a huge lead. They don't want to risk a team fight or prime inhibitor or anything like that. Freaky Trash King coming in, all going over the top right now. Here's right. Not gonna be enough, I don't believe. To get it came very close. Or prime is gonna go to Reborn. Reborn did get Reborn. it. Cranky Trash King in all what's going on right now? Oh my god. Poor J Leo back in. He reflex. Oh my god. Cranky had nothing he can do. Crazy fool. Uses Neuro Disruptor. It showed a full health, full mana involved, but I doubt Crazy Fool used his ult on that. If he was full health, was, I think we just got the glitches for the heroes right now. Reborn do what they want, how they want, when they want. 15 minutes. Hey, okay. Grooving in mid, shoving that lane, taking the towers. Uh, they're playing the MOBA game, and Arctic Wolves is on the back foot again. I mean, they had their strat working early, but uh, unfortunately, just I think too many deaths were accumulated. Uh, for that tri lane bull stock uh, yeah. meta. They were going after, there's a lot of money over $400 on the line for our $550 in total price pool. You guys, exclamation point Macharino, if you want to add to this for the, the finals, will be next Saturday. We're at $550. Donations will go to the one and two. So if you want to add to it, exclamation point Macharino, any bit helps, everything goes to it. Involved going up over the top into the thing. Oh, then he gets recalled back out of it. He was doing it again. <coughs> His ultimate is nothing but a, a, a setup thing. Um, um, I'm drawing a blank. I can't. A setup. Uh, it doesn't do as much damage, but the, the three second stun is a lot. It's a great initiator. That's the word I was looking for. Sorry. And there are, there are ways to counter that, and Wraith used to back it up for it. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, the, the left reflex in hit going down to half health just from a set lane. Um, I mean, they have momentum in that 
that left lane again. They could rotate three members out over it and try it one more time and siege that inhibitor. Um, but they do have to keep at least one person back at base um, I, for Arctic Wolves. I like this. I like Torino going after. Oh my god. I spoke a little too soon. Reborn saw them going after. Thank Tooth came flying in, said, That's my thing, Tooth. You're not getting that goal. They have all Prime for another minute to go. So they get it very quickly. Taurino, I'm assuming, is dead because he's just a clone sitting in the um, in the jungle there. So I really don't know. We have a bunch of replay bugs again, guys. We do apologize. But it is what it is. Moving on right now. Reborn, a huge advantage. 30,000 more gold. That is not a mess up. That is 30,000 extra gold. Uh, three fang to zero. And a 20 to 8 kill right now. Winning the mobile, winning the brother portion, winning all aspects of this game. You know, you, know, you know what it seems like? It seems like Involve has to go to work at 4 in the morning and just wants this game over with. And he's, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> hey guys, I, I, got it. I want a time limit here. Let's get going. But, I mean, RT Wolves, they're, they're hanging on. They're hanging on, right? I mean, they no. have the Lord Volstocks. They uh, they can get the level advantage here shortly. All they need is one or two team, uh, one or two huge team wipes. I mean, they have the setup for it. They do. And there's the second inhibitor. That's going to be too much. You can't lose the thing in there. Cracky Transcan going over the top. What is ultimate here? I, <laughs> it goes invisible right now. Jay Leo not caring. Just trying to push him off. Prime is going to wear out in about 10 seconds. The Reborn still has a little bit left in him. Look at Jay Leo just absorbing all kinds of damage. Okay, he's not taking damage. Some of the replay bugs right now. Getting out of there is involved. Not wanting to die. Five seconds left of OP. Like we're able to kill NATO and Crazy Fool is dead for 30 seconds. Now Reborn, very smartly, not making that mistake, not overextending. Except Reflex going in on Savior and saying, or Survivor, excuse me, and saying, look, I don't respect you. He says, we're my money. And Or Prime as finished off right there. Reborn dominating. We are 19 minutes into the game. I don't think we'll hit the 25 minute mark, but I could be... I could, I you could, could be wrong. You could, you could be wrong. I mean, two inhibitors, buddy. It, it's our crazy fool said he was going to try something. I give him all the credit in the world. He tried something. And I mean, they did take that early game lead. You have to give them props for that one. They took it and they ran with it. Uh, and just unfortunately, just the the lineup of reborn rotating everybody over. Just too much setup potential. Too much burst coming out from from J Leo's Grux. Uh, reflex just being able to take as much damage as possible and he'll heal himself with Sir Shimby circle rhythm and then of course involves amazing utility old just stunning everybody for three and a half seconds allowing for reflex to do whatever he may be allowing Jay Leo to reposition everybody and nuking everybody um, multiple heroes with the double paint um, we have reborn going over to I believe another fang tooth I believe this will be their third one it's either the third or the fourth. Looking to end the game. Looking to get that, that tower damage bonus. Uh, and really finish out the game here. Orb Prime goes up in a handful of minutes. Uh, we could see Reborn rotating on over. Uh, shoving the lanes and grabbing Prime again. And Arctic Wolves not be able to contest because two inhibitors are down and all lanes are shoved. Yeah, it, 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 we'll see what happens. Uh, Arctic Wolves try something different. Maybe using it for a bit. Going in right now, Crazy Fool not going to get out of that. There are the stacks there by Reflex. Was able to kill him. Shimby is a very strong Crazy Trash Kid. Not going to get out of this either. You're seeing the phase slowing him down and doing all kinds of damage. What does she have on? Warlock's board in and just possessed right now. Radiant Healer and Possessed Fighter. Going in. This should be GG right now. They're going after it. Iggy all going in. <laughs> Calamity alting everyone, just trying to get him off the inhibitor, and is not going to do it. Pausing it right there, taking a look at the end game builds. 21 minutes and 23 seconds. Reborn puts on a clinic um, and beats up on Arctic Wolves. <laughs> but Arctic Wolves tried something different. I they did, and I, and I, I will give them props. Like it, it was working. It just Reborn knew how to respond. They rotated everybody on over. And they shut it down really, really quickly. And the deaths tallied up in the end game, right? 
I mean, on my screen, it's looking 10 to 26 uh, for Arctic Wolves. That's a lot of extra. That's a lot of deaths accumulated, setting everybody further back, right? With the Lord Volstock builds, I mean, you have to get an early game lead, and then with the levels, and then you then you start to group together, then you start to take towers. They kind of did it straight out of the gate, uh, with only like a one or two level lead uh, across the board, and that just unfortunately just wasn't enough um, when everybody else on Reborn was just farming up trying to match the levels and rotating on over. Uh, huge ultimates, huge black hole uh, init uh, initiations from Involve on Gideon, uh, follow-up on NATO Sick with Drunga. I mean, like, Reborn played that to a T. Yeah, they did what they wanted. They saw what was happening. Once they learned what's happening, they just went at it. And to be honest, Arctic Wolves played like the New York Giants and Ben McAdoo kept doing the same thing over and over again, hoping for a change, and it did not happen. Uh, Deli, let me put you on the spot. Do you want to cast another game? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm down. It's, it's up to the chat. I mean, the chat, if they want to see another game, do we have a D1 or D2 game it'll, set up, buddy? It'll be, it'll be D2. Uh, we'll do D2. the, okay. we'll do the prime boys. We'll do the mm -hmm. one seed, uh, the two seed versus the three seed in division two. We'll set that up. Uh, we're going to take a six minute break. Uh, we'll get all that. It's all in, I'll get you the, the information okay. uh, but we are going to cast no one you guys do me a favor just let it out let people know that we're casting d2 uh another match spread out the word right now we'll be back in about six minutes um and delhi you guys are going to cast another match tomorrow night correct yes uh me and winkleton are set for fridays and saturday nights so okay so we will have